Now, the Scottish conspiracy theory is not the only kind of type of conspiracy theory which is getting some play at the moment. Uh, um, people will, you will have noticed, um, uh, if you uh, are an absorber of the mainstream media, the MSM, as you must now call it, um, that there has been a considerable fuss after the suicide of a woman called Brenda Leyland um, in the last fortnight. Brenda Leyland was fingered for being one of the people contributing to a site making accusations about uh, Kate and Jerry McCann. Um, the McCann conspiracy theory is a complete subgenus of uh, conspiracy theories, um, uh, and one which quite often happens, but, it is, but it's one that gives an insight into another set of motivations, because the point that I'm making about the, Scot about the Scottish uh, uh, nationalists is always the question of, if you like, the preferred truth. Um, to me, a conspiracy theory is the decision to believe and espouse a theory involving a conspiracy which is a less plausible explanation than the explanations that are already available to you. That's essentially what a conspiracy theory is, uh, 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 as far as I'm concerned. Um, and therefore, it involves a decision, as actually most beliefs say uh, of a decision, to believe X rather than Y. Uh, for various reasons, X is more palatable to you than Y is. It becomes something that you would rather uh, depend upon. Uh, so, obviously, in the case of nationalists, or rather people who were in favor of, of, of a yes vote became very strongly in favor of it, it is almost unbearable to believe that all these Scots just simply don't agree with as simple as that. How can it be? Um, and so, some of you construct an alternative version of why it's happened, uh, and that some of that alternative version involves conspiracy. Some of it doesn't, some of it does. Well, the same is true with the McCann. So, the kind of, for years and years, um, uh, those of us working in journalism have been subjected to, if you like, a kind of low-level buzz from McCann conspiracy theories. Um, essentially, what they hold is that the child was, in effect, murdered by her parents. Um, and the truth of that is covered up by various organs of the state and so on. Um, uh, some go so far as to say that because Jerry McCann is a Freemason, it's the Freemasons who got together and made... An, actually, I have no idea whether he is a Freemason or not, so you better not repeat that, but it was just one that was passed, uh, that passed by me last week. It's the Freemason. Um, the Freemasonry and the police and other people have effectively protected them from what is the obvious truth, which is that actually they did away with their own child and somehow or other in that 20 minutes without even anybody else noticing. Um, uh, and uh, everything else is a cover-up, including their friends. They now call them, the, after the restaurant, I can't remember what the restaurant was called, but they call them the pride that lose nine, uh, who are the parents who came together, they're all lying, they're all in it together, they've all made the agreement, they're all kind of covering up. Uh, and somebody like Brenda Lane believe this passionately. And the people who believe it, believe it passionately. I mean, absolutely passionately. It comes related to a, another form of uh, recent conspiracy uh, uh, theory, uh, which we'll come on to a moment. Believe it absolutely passionately. Um, so the question you ask yourself is, given the inherent <coughs> likelihood in the theories which they, which they espouse, well, obviously, the one thing that the theory about, Jer about, about the McCann's having done it deals with is the incredible psychic problem of where the hell the child got to. Um, the not knowing uh, uh, where Madeleine McCann is, is mildly unbearable in itself. But uh, for a certain kind of psychology, I would imagine, it's particularly unbearable. We can speculate about the circumstances under which somebody might find it trebly, quadruply intolerable to have a situation whereby a child's disappearance from a hotel room cannot be accounted for, just can't be accounted for. In a way, it's a relative of the MH17 theories about the disappeared aircraft. How can it possibly be that there is no explanation for, no maybe possible kind of explanation, but no accepted cause for a disappeared airliner or a disappeared young girl on, um, uh, on, on a beach holiday? Um, so, somebody begins to float a theory, 
Some people, other people attach themselves to it. Um, the websites proliferate, people read them, people cite them, and so on. They harden themselves up. So by the time you get tweeted by, or you come onto the radar of McCann conspiracy theorists, as soon as they tweet you, you get it both barrels all of a sudden. And so as soon as I've written something last week about Brendan Leyland, their ten of them were all using the same hashtag, so they knew each other was doing this, this was the hashtag that they regularly visited, and so you would suddenly become part of a pack. And if you were interested in the McCann case, you would be able to find them, or they'd be able to find you if you cited them, and that would be you know, a kind of entry point into um, what is, at the end of their fairly kind of minor conspiracy theory, uh, but nevertheless one that is kind of has been in the news in the, in, in the course of the last um, of course, the last couple of weeks.